Today we're going to be doing an oil change on a 2012 Dodge Challenger RT. It has the 5.7 liter V8 in it. Uh, this engine holds six and a half to seven quarts of oil. Um, so there's been a debate out there whether or not to use conventional or synthetics. Uh, the synthetics have additives in it that makes it last longer, so you can go more miles in between oil changes, uh, detergents to help clean the engines, and yada yada. So I guess it's up to you whether you'd like to spend more money on the synthetics or spend your money on conventional and you change your oil every 3,000, 4,000 miles, whatever. That's up to you. Over here we have our dipstick. We have our oil fill hole here, as you can see, 5W20. That's what this Hemi takes. Um, once we get underneath, we're going to be taking off a cover to access the oil filter and the drain plug for the oil pan. <clears throat> Underneath here, you're going to see there's going to be like a front cover. And as you work your way back, you will see a second cover panel back here. This second panel is the one you want to take off. There's four bolts that hold the second panel in. One. As you can see back there, two, three, and four. Take those four, four bolts out, drop that panel, and then you will be able to see the oil filter and the drain plug for the oil pan. For the Dodge Challenger, I'm going to be using this Canyon oil filter. Um, as you can see, the part number is the PS2010. It's for the 2012 Dodge Challenger RT. And for the oil, I'm going to be using the GTX from Castrol, the 5W20 conventional motor oil. Uh, right now at my local store, it's on sale for $3.99 a quart. So seven quarts sounds good to me. Now, once you get the cover off, you can slide under <clears throat> and be able to see the oil filters there. And the drain plug for the oil pan there. It's easy to get to. That's a 13 millimeter socket to get that off. Uh, so once you get down here, get your pan, drain it, put the plug back in, fill your filter up, replace it with the new one, and then reverse the process of putting the cover back on. It's that easy. Now, getting the cover back on, you see that it slides on top of the front, I mean, yeah, on top of the front cover there. So you have to slide it in between the frame and that front cover. And then just replace all the bolts, the four bolts. It's just one, two, three, and four, and then you're done.